Now delete all buttons, as we will make calls to functions directly via script. Open the basic network manager script again. We will now reuse the ping pong routine to check if there is already a server running, avoiding the occasion of having more than one server running at the same time. This way whenever a new player enters the arena, the verification of the existence or not of a server in operation will be carried out. Create a coroutine called ping pong. Basically this coroutine will send a ping to a supposed server running. If there are any servers on the network a response will be received and we will be able to verify the existence of a server. If after a while no response is found, the client will start a new server on the network. Here we are establishing a delay of 3 seconds to wait for the response from the server. If the value of the server found variable is false, it means that no server was found. Then the client must start a new server and then connect to the same server created. For that we will create the emit join game method to start a new server and make the client connection to the server. If a server was found the value of the variable server found will be true. In emit join game we check the value of the server found variable again. As no server was found on the network, we can safely start a new server. Create a new dictionary type variable called data. Generate a random ID for the local player. Create and fill in the player ID date field with the player ID. Now we send a message to the server so that the player can join the game room. Go to the basic server script to create the function of joining the player to the game room.